Hello everyone. I would like to welcome all of you for an another video tutorial session. And in this session, I am going to demonstrate you how to use Pyrex for virtual screening. So for performing this exercise, we need some software. So first software, what we need is Pyrex, which you can download from this web address. And uh, we'll be doing the pre-processing using another software called as Discovery Studio Visualizer. So which is uh, freely available for academic and uh, you can use this web link for downloading Discovery Studio Visualizer. So input files uh, I have given in GCR link for this uh, folder called as Pyrex HTVS.zip which contain all the needed file. So as we uh, uh, you know uh, did uh, rigid and flexible docking. So these are the steps which we have followed uh, for uh, rigid and flexible docking. So the first step is uh, processing a PDB file. Second step is preparing a ligand molecule. Third step is preparing a macro molecule. Fourth step is setting the search space. Fifth step is preparing the auto grid parameter file and running the auto grid uh, parameter file. And the last step is preparing the auto doc four parameter file and uh, running uh, auto doc four. Right. So uh, in Pyrex, the steps are slightly different, but uh, the methodology is going to be uh, you know uh, almost similar. And we'll be doing the pre-processing. Uh, we'll prepare the ligand molecule and we'll prepare the macro molecule and uh, we'll prepare the grid parameter file and we'll dock. So everything we'll do uh, in the uh, Pyrex environment. So I have already installed Pyrex. So let me show the uh, uh, working environment of Pyrex. So this is a Pyrex. Okay. So once if you install and open the software, yeah, you can see uh, this as the uh, front end of Pyrex. So it has a uh, uh, different options like uh, it has access for uh, Veena, Autodoc Wizard, Open Babel, Python Shell. Okay, so here uh, using this menu bar, we can open uh, the file, we can edit, view, and uh, so on. Right. So first step is that we have to pre-process the PDB file, and uh, for pre-processing the PDB file, so I am going to use uh, Discovery Studio Visualizer. So let me show. Uh, so I, I have already installed this software, and uh, no. So once if you install the software, uh, okay. So once if you open the software, you can see th this option. So uh, for this uh, example, we are going to uh, use this uh, one HSG, the same protein molecule which we have used uh, for the flexible and rigid docking, right? So already I have prepared this protein and I have given it in the needed file. Uh, but for uh, this exercise, you know, uh, I have downloaded and kept. Uh, that file in uh, the desktop. Uh, so this is a folder in which I have uh, the needed file, Pyrex. So here I have two files. One is 1HSG, which is the protein molecule uh, complexed with uh, inhibitor, Indinavir. Another one is some small molecule library, right? So we are going to screen this small molecule library uh, to the binding pocket of this 1HSG to find out which of this small molecules are having higher affinity for this 1HSG with help of Pyrex, right? So first step is we have to prepare the protein molecule. So I, I highly recommend you to pre-process the protein molecule uh, with the help of uh, this Discovery Studio Visualizer before using it for a Pyrex. Okay, so I am going for file, uh, open. So just I'm going to load the molecule. So which I kept it in desktop, Pyrex folder. So 1HSG is my protein molecule. I just wanted to open this molecule. Okay, so here you can see that uh, this is the molecule and uh, so the red colored dots, uh, those are the water molecule, crystallography water molecules. I hope it is visible for you. And this stick, uh, this is the uh, FDA approved drug molecule, which is co-crystallized with this protein molecule. So it's called as Indinavir. Uh, Indinavir, it is orally bioavailable FDA approved drug molecule for HIV protease. So what we are going to do is that, uh, uh, you know that uh, pre-processing we did in both rigid docking as well as flexible docking. So we had to remove the crystallographic water molecule and we had to remove uh, if any uh, 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 ligand or the drug molecule which is bound already in the binding pocket. And we had to add the hydrogen atoms. That is what basically we do in uh, pre-processing. So here if I click control H, so it enable this uh, hierarchical view. So here this protein is made up of two chain, A chain and B chain. It's a homo dimer. Uh, we already discussed this in uh, rigid and flexible docking. So this entry B is for the ligand molecule and this entry uh, B is for the water molecule, right? So A is for the ligand molecule. A is for 
water molecule of A chain, B is for the water molecule of B chain. So let me delete one by one. So I'm going to delete this uh, water molecules of B chain. So I selected this uh, that is highlighted using the yellow color. So I'm just pressing the delete button on my keyboard. So I'm selecting A. Uh, so it selects the water molecule corresponding for the A chain. So I'm deleting that. So I'm going to delete this ligand molecule because you know uh, while docking uh, the binding pocket should be open. It should not occupy uh, 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 with any uh, existing drug molecules or ligand molecule. So I just delete this. So now uh, this is what is called as a pre-processing using uh, Discovery Studio Visualizer. So I'm going to file uh, save as. So I'm going to save this in the same folder where I have uh, the required files. So here the file type, I, I just wanted to save it as a PDB file. I'm just going to overwrite this, okay? I don't want to keep many files, so I'm just uh, overwriting this file. So it wants me that, uh, do you want to replace it? Yes, okay. So this is what is called as uh, pre-processing of a protein molecule, how to uh, remove the water molecule. So hydrogens we can add in the Pyrex itself, no need to worry about that, right? So this is how to do pre-processing. So we go for the next step, right? So uh, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to use the Pyrex for opening the macro molecule. So go to file, load molecule. So we have pre-processed the uh, PDB file. So I'm going to open the pre-processed PDB file. So here uh, I kept it on desktop. Uh, Pyrex and 1HSG is my protein molecule. So I have opened the 1HSG, uh, right? So, okay, so this is the protein molecule which is represented as line. So if I expand this, it's having two chain. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, am amino acids of the first chain and these are the amino acids of the second chain. So we have two chains, right? So since the binding pocket for this protein is present uh, uh, in the interface of A and B chain, uh, we cannot delete any of this chain. We have to keep both A chain as well as the B chain. So I select this 1HSG entry. I right click this. I choose this autodoc and make macromolecule. Uh, this is the way how we can define that uh, this is the macromolecule. So I click on this. So now the molecule is defined as macromolecule. So if I go to Autodoc, you know, I can see uh, I, I got this 1HSG entry uh, in the macromolecule section. So if you look at this, uh, this convert the PDB into PDBQT, which means that uh, preparing macromolecule is over. So because uh, by default, it converted the PDB file into the PDBQT file. So this is how to uh, pre-process the PDB file for uh, Pyrex. And this is how to prepare uh, uh, the macromolecule for uh, Pyrex for the virtual screen, right? So we completed with uh, the macromolecule part. So now uh, just coming to the ligand molecule. So as you know that the main difference between the docking and uh, virtual screening is in case of docking, we take one protein molecule and, and uh, uh, dock one ligand molecule to the binding site of the protein. But in case of virtual screening, we are going to take a library of compounds, several thousands of compounds, and we are going to uh, dock each compound to the binding site and we are going to automate the process. That's the advantage of going for the uh, virtual screening, right? So for uh, working with the ligand, uh, so how to open the ligand molecule, just go to this open babel. Okay, so already we have library of compounds uh, in the uh, uh, current working directory needed file. So I have to click this option. So it will uh, go to the browse uh, folder. So uh, I'm going for desktop. So where I have a Pyrex folder in which I have the library of compounds, small molecule library. So, I'm, so now I open uh, all the ligand molecules. Uh, all the ligand molecules are present in one single file. So here you can see that uh, there are uh, 1930 items. Okay, that many number of compounds we have in uh, the library. So uh, if you use the normal uh, autodoc, right? So what we have to do is we have to dock one by one or we had to write some Python script for automating the process. So Pyrex is one of uh, a very simple software by which we can uh, automate the docking of all the compounds one by one. So if the first compound docked to the binding site of uh, the protein molecule, so it will automatically take the second compound and do the docking, right? So for preparing the ligand molecule, I have to right click on any of this molecule and I have to click on uh, minimize all. 
so it is going to do kind of uh, it's kind of pre-processing the ligand molecule what we did in autodoc right so here minimize all means it's going to do kind of energy minimization of all the ligand molecules which are present in the library so i just give minimize all so it is a time consuming process and we have to wait uh, till the uh, process is over <laughs> So here you can see that uh, you know the energy minimi once if the energy minimization is over, right? So it include the energy of that molecule. So we have uh, around two thousand compounds, and uh, it's really going to be a time consuming, and we have to wait uh, till the end of this process. Okay, so uh, all the ligand molecules whose energy got uh, minimized, <coughs> you can see here. It, it took approximately 20 minutes on my computer for finishing this so all the molecules you can see uh, E is equal to the energy value is now uh, displayed right so once if you're done with this uh, uh, we can uh, load this molecule uh, we can convert all the uh, uh, we can convert all to autodoc ligand PDB uh, convert the PDB file into PDB QT so convert all to autodoc ligand PDB QT file So again it's <coughs> going to be a time consuming process because we have 2000 molecules our library size is very large so we had to wait till <coughs> the completion of this process okay so the conversion of pdb file to pdb qt is over uh, it took approximately 30 minutes uh, for uh, for converting uh, 1930 molecules in the small molecule library from PDB to PDB QT so now you can uh, make a wild guess how much time it may take for the conversion right it depends on uh, the size of the library and the computational power which is available on your computer right so we have <coughs> prepared the ligand molecule we converted the ligand molecule uh, in its PDB file format into PDB QT file format so now I go to this uh, Veena wizard and uh, so we, we are going to click this start button okay so it is asking for uh, uh, how many ligands selected so we have to select the ligand molecule and uh, so we have to use this shift button control uh, shift button for selecting the multiple ligand molecules So as of now, I have selected 11 ligand molecules for the demonstration purpose, right? So since it's going to be a time consuming process, so I have selected only 11 molecules, ligand molecules, and then I just go forward. So now uh, this is, uh, you know, um, uh, setting the search space. Okay, so we have to set the grid box. So if you remember in the uh, rigid and flexible docking, we have set the grid box center to the binding site. So here um, uh, we had to set the uh, grid box center on the binding site. So as of now, uh, you know uh, this is the binding site of uh, HSG1 uh, HIV protease. So uh, it is already set uh, center to that. Uh, so uh, if you want to make a change, uh, you can change. Uh, you can e expand. Uh, you, you can uh, change the position of the grid box, uh, as well as you, you, you can change the dimension of the grid box okay so uh, for this example this is perfect right because uh, this covers the entire uh, binding pocket so I just go forward with the default uh, values so this is maximum uh, what we can uh, create okay so I just go to forward option so now uh, the process actually started okay so uh, those uh, 10 compounds 11 compounds what we have selected will be docked one by one and uh, we can see the result here 
so here you can see the process the first molecule is you know it's showing that it is running it is docking the first molecule to the binding site so once if, if the first molecule is docked go to the second molecule and it will bind the second molecule to the binding site and so on right so whatever is the number of ligands we have chosen all the ligands will be docked one by one uh, within the uh, uh, grid box where we uh, set and it will output what is the energy of uh, uh, for, uh, what is the energy for the docking so now you can see the it is progressing <coughs> okay so initially we had only one asterisk symbol now it is a two and uh, it, it takes time actually right so we had to wait for the completion and uh, we will wait Okay, so uh, it's running for the last compound, and it took more than thirty minutes uh, on my computer. So, uh, so we had to wait for the last compound. So now, if you look at uh, this, you know, uh, it started with the first compound. Once, if the process is over, it moved to the second compound, then third, fourth, and uh, up to final, right? So we got the result. So this is, you know, uh, automated. Uh, it it is not necessary that we have to dock uh, the compounds one by one. So everything is automated in case of uh, uh, Pyrex, uh, Vena. So here you can see these are the different uh, uh, docked confirmation of the first molecule. So then the second molecule is the histamine and it docked in various confirmation. So if I click on the second confirmation, you can see on the display the confirmation uh, it changes. So like that if I click on the histamine, it's the first confirmation in which it docked, second confirmation, third, uh, fourth and so on, right? So uh, here we have some uh, RMSD value and uh, this is a binding affinity in kilocal per mole so for each docking pose you know uh, it, 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 it has given what is the binding affinity of that compound in kilocal per mole so for the first confirmation of uh, this uh, 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 first drug molecule it is 8.1 kilocal per mole and for the same molecule in its another confirmation it is 7.7 .7. in another confirmation it is 7.6 uh, for histamine uh, it is minus 4.0 and uh, histamine in another confirmation it is minus 4.0 uh, so on another confirmation in minus 3.9 3.8 so like that all the compounds which we have selected for docking they docked in different confirmation and the corresponding binding affinity is given in the uh, second column right so i hope you understand uh, this is how how to perform uh, the high throughput virtual screening uh, with the help of pyrex okay thank you